Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're in my bathroom. I've got my ears in, which means we're talking skincare. <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you my evening skincare routine and I'm really excited that this video is sponsored by and in partnership with Clarins. I absolutely love their skincare. I've been using it for about six years now and they've launched a couple of new products. So I'm going to show you those products in action along with some other products that I've been loving to use recently for my acne prone winter skin. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first step in my routine is to remove my makeup. Very, very important in a nighttime skincare routine. So I'm using the Clarins Total Cleansing Oil. This has, they describe it, I think they say like it's a silky smooth texture. It has such a nice texture. If you are even like a little bit hesitant about oils, I don't know if you can see, it's like silky but light. It just like glides onto the skin so beautifully. It does a great job removing waterproof makeup. And when you add the water to it, it kind of gets this nice kind of milky, creamy texture. But don't be scared of it. Like if you have oily skin, don't be scared of cleansing oils. I know I've said it before, but I'm like, firstly, it's satisfying. But secondly, very effective. I really, really love this one specifically. It does a great job removing my makeup, like I said, doesn't leave a heavy, heavy film on my skin, and it's a very, very important step in your skincare to remove either any buildup that you just have on your skin or any makeup so that you can focus on really cleansing your skin and kind of rebalancing. Sometimes I'll use this as part of a double, double cleanse, sometimes I will use it twice um, like in a row, kind of depends, but it is really good. I also want to mention the other cleansers that they have and something really cool and I think kind of special about this is that these products contain a 100% organic blend, alpine herb blend. I want to get that right from the, from the Domain Clarins. Probably saying it horribly, it's probably like Domain Clarins or something like that. It is in the Alps. It's 1400 meters in the sky, no pollution, no air pollution. So they're grabbing like really, really great ingredients from the Alps. That's pretty cool if you ask me. But the actual products are effective too. Very, very important. Um, so the other uh, products that I wanna mention is the Velvet Cleansing Milk. This is so nice if you have a drier skin type, really, really beautiful texture like they describe it. It's a milk. And this is a really great kind of comfortable, gentle cleansing lotion. Really, really great texture on this one. And then the other that I have is the Clarins Cleansing Micellar Water. I love this and it feels lightweight, doesn't again leave any film on my skin, which is so important when it comes to any cleanser, but micellar especially. And it's a really good, easy cleansing item. I especially love to use this one in the morning. Now with clean skin, I'm going to go ahead and move on to toners. I've got three different toners that I want to mention. I'm specifically going to point out this one, three Clarins toners. Uh, this is the Clarins Purifying Toning Lotion, and this has uh, saffron flower extracts in there, meadow sweet. I've talked about this before. I've used an entire one once, if not twice. I know it showed up in an empties video probably recently. One of the reasons I love this is I have oily acne prone skin. Masks are doing a number on it, but this allows me to have something that's kind of like purifying, great for acne prone skin, but it doesn't have those active ingredients in there. So I can still use exfoliators and other things. It doesn't dry my skin out. It's alcohol free. It also helps to minimize the look of pores, purify the skin. Oh, and I was just checking my notes. Something else to mention about the Alps is they use horses to plow those fields. Like that is some organic, beautiful stuff. And I want a part of that on my face. So I really, really love this toner from them, but they do have two other toners that I use periodically, depending on kind of what's going on with my skin right now, kind of tackling acne. If you have like acne prone skin, you're exclusively gonna use that uh, purifying toner. I like to use a more hydrating toner sometimes in the morning or the night, kind of depends what else I'm doing in my skincare. So they have two other toners that I wanna mention. The first is the hydrating toner lotion. This has aloe vera and the saffron flower extracts in there and this is really good for normal to dry skin it's a hydrating toner toner lotion it's got the fig it's got aloe vera to hydrate your skin and leave it feeling nice and soft and then this one is great it's the soothing toning lotion sometimes when I have really bad breakouts something like this is really handy because it's like you're going to town with all these like sort of harsher products this one is good for very dry or sensitive skin it's got extracts of chamomile purple corn flower and um, ultimately is made to just kind of help like comfort and soothe with the skin, so lots of options. And if you wanna check out any of those Clarence products that I mentioned, they will of course be linked down below. So in the nighttime, I generally use an exfoliator, not every day, kinda of depends on the exfoliator, what I'm up to, um, but this is the CNP Laboratory Invisible Peeling Booster, which I've really been liking. I haven't been dealing with so much texture lately, but definitely from breakouts, I'm always looking to achieve like brighter, more even toned skin, as we all are. Um, but it's a, it says it's a hypoallergenic booster that offers 
daily exfoliating benefits to leave your skin feeling soft, dewy, and radiant. It's not only supposed to exfoliate like texture, tone, um, it's also supposed to make like help with hydration, refine your pores, and I believe that this is a PHA which is in here. So not my typical BHA, AHA, we got a PHA in here. It's a nice liquidy formula. You get a ton in here. A little bit newer to me, but I have been enjoying it and I feel like my skin does look better after using it. For my eye cream, this is the one that I've been using quite a bit, both day and night. I love having an eye cream that is like heavy enough to use at night, but light enough to use during the day. Does a little double duty. This is the uh, Nooks. I believe buckwheat anti-puffiness, anti-dark circles, reviving eye care. I really like this. I don't have a ton to say about it, honestly. It's nice, it has vitamin E, it's hydrating. Like I said, not too heavy, not too light, but it is a good one and I love this packaging. Then for my serum, I've really been focusing on hydration. I did use an exfoliator, but I don't use one every day. I've really, really been focusing. Although my skin is like combo acne prone, it is super dehydrated. And I have a tendency to gravitate towards like acids and all that kind of stuff, but I'm really trying to like dial it back. So these next two products have really been helping hydrate my skin and um, to like keep it like moisturized. You know, it's not easy out here in these winter streets. So this is the Olay Regenerous Collagen Peptide 24 Serum, fragrance free, which is awesome. I know a lot of people are sensitive to fragrance, either their skin or their mind. They don't want it to be a part of their skincare. I can go either way, but I always appreciate a fragrance free. This I really like, it's got a great texture, it's hydrating, I can use it day or night as well, uh, kind of depends on, on what I'm up to. And of course it contains the um, like collagen peptide 24 formula from Olay, vitamin B3, hydrates your skin, and is also supposed to uh, help firm the skin as well, so I've really been liking this. So this moisturizer is intense, and maybe why my face looks a little bit paler than it is, <laughs> but this is the uh, La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5. Now this is a thick moisturizer. Normally would not go for this, but I've really been liking it. I've seen a difference in using it. This is also fragrance-free if you're looking for a fragrance-free option. Uh, other great things about it, of course, it contains Sika, which is really, like, they use that a lot when you're trying to repair the skin. This is great if you have a damaged moisture barrier, which I say, like, I don't know that I necessarily have a damaged moisture barrier, but I definitely need some hydration, and I don't find, like, I can definitely feel it on my skin, but after like 30 minutes, it's um, not sitting super heavy on the skin. So I really, really like this, and um, I think it's I think it's doing something for the hydration levels of my skin. And finally, no surprise here, I can't go to bed without something on my lips. Uh, current obsession is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which that's nothing new, but the Gummy Bear Scent. Still obsessed with it. I have a backup. Someone bought me one as a gift, so uh, can't stop using it. So there you have it. That is my current skincare routine. Be sure to check down below if you'd like to see the Clarence cleansers or toners for yourself. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time.